we on? Oh, okay. Um, good evening, everybody, and welcome to our runoff election coverage, where, where tonight we will determine which naughty child gets the last spot on Santa's nice list. The race is between nice list incumbent Luke Robertson and Allison Chambers, who was placed on the naughty list last year. Uh, looks like we got a few more votes during our break. Uh, so we got 12 more for Luke Robertson and 9 for Allison Chambers, which brings our total up to... Carry the one. 21 votes. Why don't we toss it to our map expert, Philbert, who's got the election map pulled up for us. Philbert? So there's so much going on with this map, as you can see here. So we, um, we got some dots. I think and there's more than, more than last time, I think. Um, pretty sure they're votes. Um, and over here, there's like all these little dots in this general area. Yeah. What, what are you what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm talking about dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You, you don't just talk about them. You need to analyze the dots, okay? Okay, I didn't hire you for your observational skills. Oh, gee whiz, I got observation skills? I didn't say they were good. Um, okay, well, okay, give me a second then. Um, I'll think of something. Um, back to you guys. Uh, thank you, Philbert, I, I think. Uh, now let's get to learn a little more about our candidates. Starting off with our snow miser party candidate, Luke Robertson, who, if he gets reelected, he'll be asking Santa for eight billion gifts, one for each person in the world, even if they made the naughty list. Ugh, so irresponsible. On the other side of the thermometer, we have heat miser candidate Allison Chambers, who did not make the nice list last year because she kicked a dog. If she wins, she will be asking Santa for a small loan of a billion dollars so that she can build the world's largest baby slaughterhouse. Hmm, I love me some meat. But I hate entrepreneurs. Soon enough, they'll be running for president. Thankfully, these kids have at least 80 years until the people would make them president. But right now, we should kick it over to our analysts to see what they have to say. Any new data to report on? This just in. New votes have beefed up for heat miser candidate Allison Chambers. Looks like the meat maniacs are coming out of their lockers in full force for this one. Polling shows that the second biggest issue for voters was the rise of plant-based proteins. What was the number one issue then? Who wins? <laughs> well, let's send it back over to Bilbert to look, give us a closer look at those new votes. <laughs> get, 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 what, are, what, are you, what are you doing? Get, get, get those, get those fakies out of your mouth. Get that, get that thing out. No, 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 get those. Um, well, if you take a look at the map here, we have six new docks here in the general Texas area. Um, so we haven't seen this little uh, voter turnout since uh, Rudolph became head reindeer. Also, um, I'm gonna keep sucking on my fingers. Don't don't come back to me. Go to the go to the anchor people. <laughs> Weird, okay. Um, we have an interview ready. You know him as the third party candidate that started this whole runoff, Ross Leon. Don't worry, we've kept him tied up for safety reasons. Uh, so, Ross, why were you on the naughty list? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm a libertarian. Youch, that has to suck. <laughs> so who do you believe will make the nice list this year? I think Allison has some good points. I mean, people need more meat. Uh, but Luke saved an orphan from a burning building in 2021. That was a pretty noble cause, wasn't it? Uh, and it came out so long ago. People just don't care about the orphans these days. Plus, this whole 8 million gifts thing, uh, I miss when Christmas presents really meant something. Speak your truth, King. But we do have to take it over to wait, our North Pole correspondent. Wait, wait, wait! Ah! <laughs> Thank you. I'm standing here in Santa's workshop, hotel, and car repair, and the energy in this room is booming as we await the results that are coming in. We were supposed to meet with the big man himself, but he's under investigation and might be prosecuted for his mistreatment of the elves. So I'll come back with more updates. So for now, I'm sending it back to you in the studio. You know, I didn't expect someone like you would like me. Of course I love me. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I didn't realize we were still on. I thought we had an interview with Santa lined up, but uh, no worries. Uh, we can just go to our other wonderful correspondent in the South Pole. It's so cold here. I don't see anyone. I don't know why they sent me here. Send help. Come back to anyone else, please. <laughs> I, I told him not to come to me. I told him not to come to me. I told him not to come to me. You can't do this. You can't do this. 
go, just go, go to the anchors. They were doing their job. They were doing a good I'm job. I'm taking a foul silence what? until I can suck my fingers in peace. What? I, okay, <laughs> just, just go to the anchors. Go to the anchors, please. <laughs> I said, I said no cousin! I, I, I said no cousin! Go to Wait. the number people! No, go to no, the no, number no. people! Please! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We actually have some pretty interesting numbers coming in. The advocacy group against, for humans against using Santa's nice list as a way to kill innocent animals, also known as PETA, have shown up in droves. Three new votes have come in for Ruth Robertson, tying up the two candidates. And with that, the AP, Associated Peppermint, has called the race a, a tie. Um, well, this has never happened before. What happens now? I think the two children have to fight to the death in a big old mud pit. Are you serious? No. I think the deciding vote would be Santa. So let's send it back to our other correspondent at the North Pole, where Santa should be making an appearance. Santa, Santa, what do you have to say about the allegations they paid the elves and candy canes and glitter? No comments, just here to announce the final nice list. Unfortunately, I need the final nice list lot for myself. And you know, all I want for Christmas is to do get out of jail free card. Ha ha, suck it, cops. Ho ho. <laughs> well, I guess that's all from us here at the North Pole. Uh, sending it back to you in the studio. Oh, that's all from us at Snow Fox. Join us next election where we vote on if the Easter Bunny should be guillotined. This election has been brought to you by... Hello! Hello!